Collins Lowe, senior producer of Mortal Kombat, and we're here at PAX, and I'm going to talk a little bit about Mortal Kombat. So, uh, where you're seeing right now is a, a beginning of a tag team get, uh, game. Now, Mortal Kombat's never done tag team before. Other games have. This is the first time we've done it. Um, as you can see, we have Cyrax. Uh, we also have like Molina. A lot of the classic characters you remember from the days of uh, MK1 through at UMK3. The level you might also notice is uh, from MK2. So here we are having the characters. Obviously, we can do a swap in, swap out. Pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. You also have things such as a tag assist, where a character will come in and throw in a special move and then jump right back out, just like Scorpion did. And another thing you can also do is what we have is called the tag attack, where you bring in your secondary character to actually do an attack and stay in the fight afterwards. Now these things can be also linked up with your combo, do some serious devastating attacks on your enemy. Now another thing is, as you know, everyone has their unique special moves. You can also use these to do more like enhanced version of these special moves, but they do much more damage. Now, another thing you might also notice is that we have a, a meter at the bottom where you can do some serious damage between one another. One of the things we can also do is the X-ray. Now this gets you down and dirty into the game and it shows quite a bit of damage. Every character has his own unique X-ray. Ability of one of the things is we've also gone to a new combo system where it's more traditional in the sense of uh, you can kind of create your combo. It's not a dial a combo, so you can really link it and play it the way you want to play it. The game also plays much faster than we have in the past. We've also gone back to a beauty fighting environment, so that was one of the things that many fans have come to us over the years saying what they really want us to do. So we've gone back and played the game in a 2D fighting play, yet still in a 3D environment, so you get the full depth and look of the game. This also allows us to do a lot more uh, detail with the characters that we haven't done in the past. So if you look at the characters, you can see the textures of the leather, of the metal. We also can do, also be able to do a lot more damage to the characters. We're, we're going back to the blood. We're going back to the violence. Um, and this is really what you know a lot of fans want for MK. As you can see, you can do quite a bit of damage with your uh, combinations, you know, really good. We also have things such as breakers, so if you get stuck against somebody who's really good at combos, you can also pull off a breaker to kind of stop the action and hopefully reset and turn the tables on your opponent. So as you can see, Deadpool is uh, kind of like a reimagining of the original uh, MK background from MK2. And what we've really done is kind of gone back and you know, looked at the things that you know, made MK great. And a lot of the guys on the team were actually like, grew up playing Mortal Kombat. So this is kind of like their homage to the uh, Mortal Kombat of the arcade days. And uh, that was more of like a 2011 take on it. Now, of course, you couldn't really have Mortal Kombat with, of course, fatalities. And that's something we've definitely brought back just to get in. Because that's what people want. And uh, that's what we wanted to do. Oh, here we go. Fatality. And uh, so that's Mortal Kombat coming into uh, spring of 2011 on the Xbox 360 and PS3 for Sony.